I've been here probably about eight times now, um, and it's actually the only place I've ever seen a full apparition. Is there anybody here with us? What the? What the fuck was that? Was he making noises down here? Did you hear like a whistle? Yeah, I thought it was you then, was it not you? No. It came from where you Yeah? Oh no. What the f But here we go guys, the execution room. Oh. Is that for some music playing? That sounds evil. And here we are. I will say, this room does have quite a horrible vibe, eeriness to it. Now, I'm sure that's just down to the fact that it's an execution room and a lot of people lost their lives here, but it does have a weird atmosphere to it. I'm not saying it's paranormal, that could be a psychological kind of feeling that I'm getting. But it's pretty weird to be standing in this room. I feel quite anxious to be honest, I don't know why. Uh, let's see if we can go back onto another ward. They say I'm all on my own at the moment. Hello? Anyone here? Any spirits, entities, whatever you want to be called, whatever you are. Could you make a noise? This prison is so huge. I don't even know where the rest of the team are. You know, none of the public are actually in the building at the moment. There's only a handful of us here. It's pretty eerie, it's pretty eerie, pretty creepy. So. Well, I can hear Dale. Oh, here you are, you all right? Oh, sorry mate, you went to talk to Carol with? Yeah, yeah, I was just, I was just, just chatting away. Oh, right, um, the execution rooms and stuff. Oh no, I was, I was just in there. Oh, were you? Yeah. How'd you get there? I was just walking. I was walking, then I started seeing signposts saying execution room. Yes. So, so, so in terms of your personal experiences, what's happened to you? Like, what has much happened, or is it? Pull ball tripped me up there on twos. Yeah. The pool table's still up there. I've seen shadows, figures, whatever you want to call them. Voices all over the place. Doors slamming when there's no deer. Door slamming's a common one, I think. I've heard yeah. that quite a lot. Yeah. Uh, one night after everybody's gone, been around, checked everywhere. Every door in this wing was being shut one by one. Wow. That's I good. never came back in.
You can tell it is because this is where the tiles would have been to get rid of all this. Say, so, you don't think the person who's going to get executed would be. This would be their room, would he? Yeah. Because I was saying, that's pretty morbid, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know whether this would have been glass, though. I Imagine think, that. I don't think that would have been original. Seeing the glass ready for you, you, your own death. Imagine that, though. Going to sleep with us next year, oh, a big no. rope hanging from it. What the? What the fuck was that? Oh, I'm not even recording. Oh. You're joking me. Hello? No joke, guys. That was like. Okay, so what it could be, the man, he's, he's, out he's walking out, so it been he could have closed the door. Because it did seem like it come from underneath us. Sounding like it was coming through this wall, which it probably was, because if the door's down there, yeah. you want to travel for sure. Hello? Did he hear a whistle? What's that? Did you hear like a whistle? Yeah, I thought it was you there, was it not you? No. It came from where you Yeah, I know. Oh, Hello? Could you whistle again? So we are the only people in this, in this section. A lot of people have said, because um, I was doing like a bit of research on it, that they do hear whistles in this location. It wasn't me, 100%. No. It just, it just sounded like it was coming from where you were, which yeah. is why I assumed it was you. Because my, my camera will probably have picked that up, but you'll realise, because if he was near me, it was going to be really oh, late. I was wrong as well, so I think I'll have that. Yeah. That's a lorry or something coming through. If that was you whistling, can you do it again? Don't make me go all over the field on you. That's me. That's gotta be, uh, That's maybe, gotta be might, else. might be the crew. I don't know if that would have been them whistling now. Hello? That's a train now. Do you think it could have been a train doing the whistle? No, no, because it sounded like it was. It's okay. That's, that's definitely a train now. Well, yeah, oh, they've got the window open here. Right, so that's how. Because the window's open here, it sounds like it's coming from a different direction. Mm. Oh, actually, we come out here to look for people, didn't we? Because we had like some banging noises. Hello? Was he making noises down here? That's copy there, on it? This is A-Wing, isn't it? That's, that's the crew room at the end. Yeah. I think. No, this is different. A-Wing's that way. Mm-hmm. So what's this then? I, mean, I did get lost um, when I was just walking around. Is there anybody here with us? I can hear banging, but I don't think it's anything paranormal. No, I don't think it is. I think it's the crew. Possibly. Could you bang on one of the doors? Something like this. Well, give us a bit more than that. Oh no, the, the, the doors are rock solid. <laughs> I was expecting them to be quite hollow. 
Put something like this. That'd be better. Yeah, there is a nightclub right next to the um, right next to this place, so you'll be able to hear a lot of voices. That's where it's coming from. Have you guys been like in this section yeah, all the yeah. time? Because oh, yeah, yeah. when we was when we was in you know near the execution room, yes. Um, like we thought we heard like a lot of banging, didn't we? Mm. That's not us. Honestly, haven't moved. Coming yeah. from underneath. I don't know. It was, it was, it's, it's hard to tell. It sounded like it may have come from underneath because it travelled through the wall. I think it might yeah. the door. And we just thought, oh, it's probably you guys just coming to set in. Under the room is where the mortuary used, used to, to be, be, so it would drop underneath. Uh, but that's off. the only door to that is on the outside. Yeah. It's right. not a yeah. door inside. Might be worth checking with Barry to see. Yeah, but I can't imagine. No, well, we, we actually seen Barry leave the building, didn't we? Because there was that big bang. And then we was like, oh, what's that? And then that I looked out the window. Down. Yeah, and that was him leaving. So he was at the building at that point. So no, we have obviously haven't been no, no, We haven't been here. We haven't seen each other for ages, so we're just no. catching we're up. Just oh. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. But we did hear like um, a whistle as well. But I don't know if that's because, you, you know, the windows. That's, yeah. what, we, that's yeah. what we thought, that's because of the, uh, the, like yeah. the brakes and stuff. Yeah. You will get the, the, the guard's like whistle as well. Uh, you can hear that. If you... It was more of a fa it wasn't a guard's whistle, that was it was more faint. It was light. It might be the brakes then. But yeah. yeah. From platform eight. Because you've got windows open in different rooms. It sounds like it's coming from different directions, different directions but it's, but yeah. it's not, yeah. yeah. But the banging was pretty interesting because we, yeah. we just thought it was you guys. No, no, no we, we haven't, haven't moved. moved. Yeah. Before we leave and go to another section of the building and before all the public come in, could you give us a sign please that you're here with us? Now for everyone at home thinking you can hear voices, you can hear voices but it's nothing paranormal. It's just a nightclub. Is everybody having a better time than we are? <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Could you make a noise, please? Could you bang on one of the doors? This place is going to be full of people soon. So there should be a lot of energy that you can take. Could you put it to good use, please? There's been many apparitions been uh, spotted around here, all over the prison. So you obviously don't mind showing yourself. So could you show yourself to me and Dale tonight? And then we can show the world. You must know this noise. That's when you're getting locked back in your cell. You must know it very well. Come on, I'll, I'll, I'll let you listen again. That, mo that noise must piss you off. Does it give you flashbacks? And when they come and open and shut this little inspection hatch when they're looking at you through the door. That noise. Does it annoy you? This man next to me is called Steve, and he used to be a prison officer. So if you don't like it, prison officers, you should do something to him. I did actually used to be a security guard. <laughs> Legitimately. I was a terrible security guard though, I let everyone get away with everything. Oh, so you'd, they'd probably lie to me. <laughs> I'd probably be working with them. So at the moment, me and Dale have kind of split up. He's gone into the suicide cell and I've come into this cell um, where one of the ladies from Haunted Happenings said that she's seen an actual 
um, police guard apparition figure standing right here where I am. So we've split up for the moment. He, like I say, Dale's gone down the other end of the corridor and I've come into this cell. Hopefully we can get some kind of activity. We haven't got much at the moment. Hello spirits. My name is Stephen. And apparently you've shown yourself in this building, in this very room. Could you show yourself tonight? Could you show yourself right now? So we're not really getting anything. You know, we have been here for about just under two hours at the moment. Um, we have explored, we have had to look around. We've heard a lot of stories. Um, brilliant location. What the? F what was that? Did you hear that? I don't even know what that noise was. It was like a da 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 da. And I wasn't moving. Obviously I'll go back and check it out, review it, see what it is. Even then I won't know what exactly what it is, but I'm not putting it down to something being paranormal, but it was a little noise then. It's like a da 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 da. It's not the bed. Let's have a look. Let's put the light on for you guys. Yeah, it wasn't like that. It wasn't that kind of noise. And that's all there is. <laughs> There's nothing else to check. Yeah, windows are closed. Hmm. That's pretty cool. If that was you, that made that noise, whatever noise it was, could you do it again? Bang on one of the doors. Now, I'll be honest with you, people, I can't see a single thing. It's so dark. It's pitch black. I mean, I know you guys can see the camera right now in the night vision, but for me, it's so dark. It's quite quite creepy to be honest um, I'm not scared though or anything like that I'm just, just looking to see I'm not going to walk into something
There's quite a bit of smell about it as well, you know, a different smell to the, uh, the other place. Yeah. Eight a.m. in the morning. The last hanging take um, to take place was on the 9th of February, sixty-one. So at the moment, me and Dale have worked our way up to the execution chamber, I suppose, and we're going to do a bit of a vigil in here, I suppose. Again, we haven't really caught anything so far tonight. They look very similar to the Manchester one. That's yeah. how it is, like, yeah, the drop door. Yeah. A lot of necks have been cracked in here. Oh, it's horrible. Any happen just here, people? There must have been a lot of sadness in this room. A lot of fear. Where you took your last moments before you died. Could you give us a sign that you're here with us? That you're trapped here? If you're one of the spirits that got executed, we mean you no harm. We're just here to film and document you. You don't have to be afraid anymore. Could you make a sound for us? 